with the newest reveal trailer that Multiverses just gave us, where we got Jason Voorhees confirmed as a playable character, and even Agent Smith from The Matrix, there is so much more to break down and so much more to unpack. So if you're excited for Multiverses and you want more content like this, remember and subscribe here for more, and turn that bell on so you know when we upload and when we go live. And let's get into this breakdown, shall we? I'm gonna be real with you guys, the whole breakdown actually starts at the very beginning here. There's a lot to look at right here as the uh, WB logo appears and changes, like, these logos are going to indicate maybe some teasers for other characters different worlds like right now what is this gold red we already got wonder woman we already got superman who could this be then it changes blackest night maybe then it changes again see i i'm not gonna lie to you these ones i i'm not quite sure i know what i saw in most of this trailer this part right here i'm like ah oh, I, I don't quite know right on the top of my head what this is indicating or are these characters that are already in the game and this is just representing them but like this makes me think green lantern so i'm like green lantern's not in the game is this more of a tease for him then we get one more right here the stone looking one. Oh, i lied then we got even more right here the blue glowing one then the normal wb one yeah right here then of course in the background we got pinky in the brain so big tease there we've already seen that one though and as we're taking this trailer frame by frame there is so much to look at in the backgrounds and you gotta take it slow man you gotta take it one step at a time because they show a lot and it happens really fast this whole fight with velma finn and bugs bunny is a lot of fun but the first big tease of this trailer actually happens right here when Bugs Bunny hits the safe into the water tower and look at what falls out of it. So right here, clear as day, that is a Trident for Aquaman. And I lost my freaking mind right here because I am a massive Aquaman fan. I'm talking before Jason Momoa, even though I love him as Aquaman, I've loved his comics and more for so long. I have an Aquaman tattoo. I have the Trident hanging up right there. You can't see it. Most of my statues up here, yeah, those are for Aquaman. So I cannot believe they teased Aquaman right here, the Trident. This katana right here makes me think uh, Samurai Jack. And I know Samurai Jack is a very big fan wanted character. Uh, from the first glimpse we got here, I think that's actually a broom. And I think this is for the, the Wicked Witch from the Wizard of Oz. And that would be a very interesting pick for sure. And then right here, this plush. I think this plush is from, uh, from Powerpuff Girls. So if I am correct, the trident is clear as day. That's definitely Aquaman. The, the katana, I, I seriously think it's gonna be Samurai Jack. I think these two are definitely a guarantee. The broom, I think, be taken a couple different ways the witch from wizard of oz maybe it's harry potter i i don't think they would do that for harry potter though and then of course i think this plush is from uh from powerpuff girls so so four different characters four different franchises teased right here again i lost my freaking mind when i saw that trident dude i was like holy shit so these are i think they're callback to having riffs right like that's a stage up here we have a stage as well and the stages might indicate other worlds or maybe other stages from different universes we haven't seen so far like this one right here is Steven Universe. That's the stage right there. Iron Giant gets hit and he falls down to Townsville. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is our very first look at the uh, stage hazard for Mojo Jojo being on the Powerpuff Girls stage. You see him flying around right here in the background for just a second here. I think that's going to be him. I th I don't, I'm not quite sure if he's going to be a playable character at the start, but he's definitely a stage hazard of sorts on this stage. Iron Giant gets hit by Stripe and looks down at Marvin. As you see right here in the corner, we have the, the, the glasses and the gloves from Dexter's Laboratory. What are they doing on the stage right here? I don't know, but they're clear as day. This is definitely Dexter's Laboratory. And though as of this moment, we don't have them confirmed as playable characters, why would we have a stage for the Powerpuff Girls and Dexter's Laboratory if they're not going to be playable? Uh, the answer is they definitely wouldn't. Like, we are getting Dexter's Laboratory and Powerpuff Girls. We see a giant tease right here. Yeah, we're definitely getting them. They weren't in this trailer. I mean, kind of like right here in the stage or whatever, but we're definitely getting them for sure. Wonder Woman looking out the window. There's a couple things to note here. In case you can't see it because my camera, but right here we have a statue of a man who's holding a trident. Is this another callback to Aquaman? Not quite sure, but she turns around and sees the Blackest Night Wonder Woman. And this scene right here is so sick because they're showing off different skins for different characters in this trailer. And this is the season of the villain. So this scene right here makes so much sense. And then we got a tease at Teen Titans Robin right here. I mean, it makes sense. We got a piece of paper right here of the Joker with some throwing stars in it. So maybe Robin's having some uh, target practice. So this is Robin right here, clear as day tease. And if we're getting Robin from the Teen Titans, we're gonna get them all. Are we gonna get Raven, Starfire, Cyborg? Gosh, I freaking hope so, dude. And then the other Wonder Womans appear and gosh, they look so good. I love the cosmetics 
cosmetics in this game, and the costumes are freaking phenomenal. During the fight of the Wonder Womans, we have the actual Green Lantern right here. So this is a very clear tease at Green Lantern, 100%. Not only that, but I'm pretty sure these are Scooby Snacks right here. Yes, we have Shaggy, we have Velma, but where is Scooby? We got the Scooby Snacks right here. And we have a framed photograph of Batman and Robin in the middle here. So this frame has tons of teases. Green Lantern, Scooby Snacks, and Robin and Batman right here. Holy shit, in just a single frame, we got all of that. And I know it's a cinematic, not actual in-game, but can we take a second and just appreciate how good these characters look? Like, just look at this render, man. This looks so freaking amazing. Like, you gotta appreciate those devs over there at Player First Games, man. Holy cow. These characters look so freaking good. Wonder Woman wrecking all the other Wonder Womans, and then right there, oh, what is this? What is this? This could be taken a couple different ways. This is either Raven from Teen Titans, meaning this is the, the Teen Titans room here, or it's Zatanna, or it could be Constantine. However you want to take it, I think it's leaning more towards Raven because of the whole Robin we saw, you know, just a second ago, but I couldn't blame you for thinking Zatanna or Constantine. Let me know your thoughts on who that is, who all these characters teases are. Let me know your thoughts down below. And another tease at Batman and Robin, we have the plushies right here of Robin and Batman behind the Wonder Woman's in this scene. So just more and more teases for all these characters, man. We have the Batcave, Rick running through the Batcave, Joker taking over the computer. We have the red axe guitar right here on the stage. That's of course a call to Marceline from Adventure Time. So are we gonna get them as a playable character? So many questions, no answers here. Again, what I think to be more Scooby snacks in the stage for Haunted Mansion, just more calls to Scooby. Rick lands in the Game of Thrones stage. And then this is where the massive reveal came from at the right at the end here, right at the end. Joker on the actual throne. Yo, where's Arya Stark at, man? I, I, I wanted to see her in the cinematic. Again, guys, just one more time. These characters, this game looks so freaking good. Look at this, look, look, look at Joker here. Look at this character, man. This is freaking peak. I am loving this. This game just looks so good. I know it's a cinematic, I know, but goddamn, does it look good. And we got Jason right here, dude. I lost my freaking shit when I saw this guy. And then we got Agent Smith. Now, does this mean we're also gonna get Neo? Like, how do you have Agent Smith without Neo? And how do you have Jason without Freddy? Are we gonna get Freddy as well? Or are we gonna get other horror icons like Ghostface, Michael Myers, Pennywise? There's a ton of characters they can pull from that genre alone. Speaking of more characters right before the camera cuts, right after Jason and Agent Smith appear, we see four more character portals. So if this is the season of the villains, we got Joker, Jason, and Agent Smith as new characters. That is three. Then we have one, two, three, and four. Two more on each side. Four plus three, that is seven. That is seven new characters. And if they're all going to be villains to fit the theme of the villain season, what villains are we going to see appear? Are they going to do characters from the same franchises? Again, Neo maybe, but Neo is not really a villain, but, but Freddy with Jason, Freddy's definitely a villain, but also they're going to pull villains from other franchises, like villains from DC, villains from Rick and Morty, villains from, from anywhere, really, Scooby-Doo, even if they wanted. There are so many options, so many things to speculate from these four portals alone. You guys gotta let me know your thoughts down below on the, first of all, the character designs for Jason and Agent Smith, but also what characters do you think are gonna appear in these portals? Does that mean we're also gonna get these characters in this season? Like, does season one hold all these characters? Because if we're gonna get four, plus these three as seven new characters for one single season, Season, that's gonna be insane. And then right here at the last trailer, they finally show off the collaboration of all the characters we've gotten so far in this last second banner we got for multiverses. So the new ones we have, we got Banana Gar, we got Jason, we got Joker, we got Agent Smith, even a couple of the characters that were newer back in the beta, like Rick and Morty right here. We got Black Adam, we got Marvin. This right here is a collaboration of all the newest characters and the start of season one for multiverses. And this, this, this looks so crazy. Like you show this to anybody outside of this game and be like, hey, could these characters be in a game together? People would probably tell you no. They're like Rick and Morty fighting alongside Jason Voorhees who are gonna fight Iron Giant. Who the hell would do that? I'll tell you who do that, multiverses. And they are freaking killing it. They are nailing it. This looks amazing. Let me know in this trailer what you caught. What did I miss? What are your thoughts on all the teases, all the new characters? Let me know your thoughts down below. If you want more multiverses and fighting game content, make sure and subscribe here for more. We have new videos twice a week and we stream twice a week. Take it one step at a time and I'll see you in the next one.